Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PC Joe Live content videos. On today, people, today we are playing some Guardian. Guardian has been a trip, guys. Trying to make this deck work right now is so interesting because it has all the tools it needs to like beat everything, but it's all a matter of like you know making it work consistently. Which we took, I took out a lot of cards to make it very streamlined. So so far it's been pretty good, but we're gonna see if we can keep that up. So my biggest problem with the deck right now is, first of all, my biggest part of the problem with recording right now is trying to find post rotation games. My God, <laughs> I've been. This is my third time recording it. So far, it's been about thirty minutes of me constantly trying my best to find a post rotation game. So I hope I can find one now. I've seen a lot of. So okay, so the matchup spread is pretty good so far. Immediately because of the cards I play, I have a really good uh, Malamar of like pretty much every variant. Variant I have a good Malamar versus, and then. Uh, I have a pretty decent Picaram. Oh my God. Six Mulligans. I wish I would, dude, if I was going first, this deck loves going first. You can miss Magius once or twice and then stamp them early. And that's really, really good. But unfortunately, my opponent's gonna have two opening hands. <laughs> oh, big yikes. And we're playing against Picaram. So we get a test against Picaram. Hopefully it's a post rotation build. Um, Picaram isn't bad. Once again, if you have your, uh, I need to find that electric charm, but if I can find my lightning charm, then we're in a pretty okay position. As long as he doesn't play like Labs or Faba or something like that. And even if he does, we can deal with it. I only play one Lightning lightning, lightning uh, Charm though. I could bump it up to two for sure. I'm, this, it would be the only Charm I think I'd like to bump up to two. Uh, because the Cephalon doesn't play any sort of like tool removal for the most part. So I don't have to worry too much about the Cephalon's matchup. Definitely gonna stamp this dude. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to find Guardian first though. Or Greens first. Which we did, which is good. So what's our game plan here? Get a bunch of energies in hand, energy cherish ball. I could try, I could get the, what's it called as well, like immediately. Uh, lightning charm. But I kind of need to get a Pokemon down, right? So that's more important to start accelerating energies. I'm gonna do that instead. Let's get another Guardian because we have to. If we we can't really play the game if we don't have energies, I mean we can stop them from winning with Lightning Charm, but we can't win ourselves <laughs> if we don't get energies on the board. So we'll go ahead and stamp them down. Let's grab this. We'll just grab. I think we'll grab all three. Fairy Song twice. Get a couple manual attachments in. I'm a little bit afraid because then we won't be able to use Miss Magius as well. But I'll grab all three anyways. I think it's fine. Get a few main, and this guarantees at least three turns of manual attachments, unless he does whatever, judges us or something, or stamps us. Man, it's so hard recording on this bed, man. I'm just moving around nonstop. That's probably all the background noise you guys are hearing. I need to get. I need my desk to come back to me already. I need to move out, man. I need my own place. All right, let's see what's happening. So he has Picaram. Zero Aura, and he has a Choo Choo. Choo Choo is the biggest bane of our existence. I need to find that Lightning Charm quickly. Uh, although I think the Lightning Charm would probably go on the bench, dude, if anything. But if I can get down a few, if I can like, if once he takes one knockout and I can start stamping him into Miss Magius shenanigans and going from there, it's gonna be really good for us. So that's kind of like the game plan here. <clears throat> Tax switch, move into the back, I guess. Is he just trying to thin his hand or something? Is he no? He already played Volkner, right? So I don't know what he's doing. Can he just not attack this turn? So he's just moving his energy to the back a little bit more safely. Because I have a switch in hand, I can start putting pressure on the board. If I can find green here, that'd be really nice. Oh, he has another one. Does he have the thing though? Is he going to paralyze me? If he paralyzes me, then the same thing happens. I have a switch. I need to find lightning charm. Oh, he's gonna try his best to find what's it called. And there it is. Thunder Mountain. And he has a labs too. Yikes. Okay, then there's no point in finding the charm right now then. It might be good to just get Power Plant. Then I'll bump that with labs. And then we bump the labs ourselves and go from there. Get another Cherish Ball. It's gonna be really good for moving energies around some more. We have a great potion, we can heal a bit. To put this outside of the 170 range, it has to be at 
90 HP, right? Because 80 plus 170 is 250. Yeah, so that's what we gotta do at some point. Um, for now though, we can just do that. And there's no way to thin the deck really. So I'm just gonna do this. And we found the green. So if we get if we get green, what are we doing with green? We have a switch in hand. Uh, I could grab like mixed herbs. I definitely want to bump a stadium though. So maybe we just do the stadium war for a bit. Let me grab power plant into power plant into another green, and then the following turn I can. Yeah, the following turn I can do some shenanigans for now. I'm sure he wants to play his lab soon. Go ahead and switch. Yeah, seems fine. No point in healing this dude yet, which is why I didn't do it. He's already in range anyways. My biggest worry is that he's gonna just find tag switch and just go ham on me out of nowhere. I don't think he can though. So I think it'll be alright to just collide a storm a bit. Move an energy here. Another one here, and this will be safe. Have two attackers ready. All right, let's see if we can win. So this is just Catcher away from being knocked out, which is good. He's manly retreating, which is good, uh, which means there's a lot less energies on the board, and I guess he just forgot about Plant, and now we win. Yeah, Plant is so big against this deck, and like once we start hitting and once we start healing, there's not really much they can do, especially if they don't play... Um, we know he has labs in his hand, so um, we didn't play Charm, we just played around that. I like the whole plant play into like, because if, if we win the stadium war, then we just win the game, right? And that's the cool thing about P about the Pikachu matchup is that you play the stadium war until they can't do anything and then you just win after that. Because a lot of them will play like maybe one Zapdos, maybe one non-GX attacker, which is not enough to win the game for your opponent. So yeah, it's pretty good for us. He lost all the energies on the board. And we were able to go from there. Let's go ahead and get another game. At the very least, I have one good game recorded, quote unquote. It wasn't really that great, but it's a game. <laughs> I can't really record on the ladder right now because I gotta like run and I don't wanna start recording immediately just for I don't wanna start asking people for games because then a lot of people wanna play and I don't want I wanna get as many games as I can and then if I do that then I have to deny some people and of course we find a post rotation immediately. Oh boy. Can we just Skip this, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing Guzma. The problem with the problem with post rotation is that like against Guardian, it's not super kind because Choice Band exists. If it wasn't for Choice Band, it'd be fine. Uh, but because Choice Band exists, it's just it's just a pain. Being able to be O code is very very annoying for Guardian to deal with, and Blower is a thing as well. So like Choice Band Blower, there's too many cards going against Guardian for it to be good in pre in pre rotation. That's not even worth trying to play it out unless it's like a Malamar build. Malamar maybe. Because uh, Malmar is like, at least Malmar, they play the same for the most part. Sure, they have like a few extra cards, but it's nothing crazy beneficial to where it wins them the game. Unless maybe they like set up an Ultra. 80, 160, 240 now, but they don't, they don't, a choice band doesn't make the math better for Ultra. Alright, opening hand is garbage. We need to find this, uh, yeah, we need to find Guardian immediately. We're going first too, so we could have a good hand. Uh, Cherish Ball, Dusk Stone, something like that. I mean, we just need to draw to something. Now, we're getting some mulligans, which is good. We're playing against Weezing. Uh, Weezing is an easy matchup, but I don't want to play against it. <laughs> Weezing is such like an immediate matchup winner, though. I'm just going to do it for the fact that we can raise my elo a bit. But yeah, Guardian just eats Weezing for breakfast. Drawing energies is not what I want to see. Drawing off Miss Magius is going to suck now. But at least we got the green. So what do I do here? Do I grab... I have to grab Cherish Ball, and... I guess Dust Stone. We can attach, play this down. I guess we don't have to grab Dust Stone this turn. There's not really, there's not really a rush. Let's just grab a Cherish Ball green. Yeah, that seems fine. Get some energies down turn one. We can use green next turn. This seems fine. Yeah, there's no point in trying to like aggro stamp my opponent when my hand is literally almost half my energies. <laughs> one card away 
from being over half my energies. Oh my God, ridiculous. I hate when that happens too. Like I play low energy decks, so this doesn't happen. So every time it does happen, it's very triggering. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I mean, right? Like I, at some point I had eight energies in this deck and it was still happening. I was like, why? But you know, TPCGO, the most sufficiently randomized place on the planet. <laughs> Alright, so we just have to attack over and over again until we win. With all our healing, like, there's not much this deck can do unless I'm forgetting something. There shouldn't be a thing that could beat us. So I guess we can just showcase this deck's consistency. Um, I guess. Yeah, this doesn't matter because we can just evolve. And we drew a green, which is not at all what I wanted to see, but whatever. Let's just grab treasure with this one. Like, we can also get rid of one of these cards in our hand that we don't need. Like, I don't think we're gonna need a million great potions or this many energies for that matter. Actually, I should probably check my energy count in the deck. See how many is left in the deck. We have four in total in our hand with the other four, which means we have one prized. Not a big deal. Probably grab another Guardian. Thin this out. This is good because we can essentially have two attacking guardians next turn by me doing this to the active. We can treasure away. Yeah, I guess we'll treasure away one of these energies to grab a Miss Magius, which I'm glad that we're doing this because the other Miss Magius is prized. And now we can draw like three cards. Not the most amount of cards, but at least it makes this thing active. And double, this is not bad. This is actually really good, having these healing options available to us. You can take the prize and we get to take an attack, get do an attack here, which is good. And then we can just use green to find a switch or something in case he confuses us again or something along those lines. There we go. So we have all these healing options. Uh, we haven't really used Coach Trainer too much, so but that's because like, it's just better to use green and Coach Trainer is just kind of there. In case you have, unless you have nothing to do that turn. There's so many games, there's so many turns with this deck where you just don't have anything to do. And that's fine, like you want that. <laughs> that's a good feeling to have, having nothing to do. <clears throat> I just want this game to be quick so we can get one more game and hopefully it's post-rotation. Or if at least it's pre-rotation, it's not Zard, because Zard is the biggest, the biggest headache. And my opponent's gonna play slow. So not only is he gonna play Weezing right now, <laughs> I'm so salty, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm hurting anyone's feelings. I'm just really upset. I'm just trying to get these recordings done. But let me know what, de what decks you guys want to see me play next. Uh, I actually, if you guys have saw, I have about four post-rotation decks right now. So if you guys have any ideas for what you want to see me play next, I can build it and then we can have some fun. All right, so he's playing the shrine, which is fine. We get to attack this turn, which is good. Why are we drawing energies? This is the last card I want to be drawing right now. We can plant. We can also Wonder Lab, which is really annoying for them. I like that play a little bit more. I'm just going to go ahead and collide a storm. And we'll keep the energies as is. Next turn, though, we can GX attack, which will be really nice. Especially if he, if the stadium sticks. If the stadium sticks, then a GX attack is definitely going to happen. I'm going to try to double custom catcher that Oranguru and GX attack. Because all I need to do off this green is grab custom catcher plus attack switch. And then if we knock out the Oranguru, he can't do anything. Although in this case, we might have to grab a physical switch so we can actually attack. Because <laughs> he's probably going to confuse me here. We'll see what happens. But the more cards he plays, the better he's looking for me. That's for sure. Ditto is down. Spell tag, it's whatever. And there's a Weezing, perfect. So he's not gonna confuse me, which is what I was hoping for. But he can't attack me, which is even better. All right. And Great Potion is fine. Playing that down doesn't really feel necessary. I always wanna make that play I mentioned. Attack switch into Custom Catcher. And then just attack over and over again. Because if he can't bump the stadium, we just kinda win. So this is what we did before. Choose attack. Okay, so we're going to these these two energies. I misclicked this on stream before, so I got to make sure I'm doing this right. There we go. 
Put them here, boyo. Is there any healing I want to do? Not really. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Magical Miracle. Boom. Shuffle that hand back in. He has no, like, he has no bench sitters, consistency, helpers, whatever you want to call them on his, on his board right now, which is great for me. So now he's just going to come up with this act of wheezing and we're going to slowly stall for time. Guzma top deck, fine. It's not super great for me actually, because we don't have a we don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> we don't have a green, but we could get one off this, like that, just like that, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I love this deck sometimes, man. Sometimes it just works. Let's go grab that and nothing else to grab really. Is there any other like? like cards I want to grab here? Not really. Uh, another great potion, sure. Maybe this will help him scoop, yeah, there we go. All right, let's move on to the next game, boys and girls. I was just trying to think of, because I was trying to play mind games at that point, because there's nothing I wanted, so I wanted to find cards that would help him scoop away. And uh, great potion was the card. <laughs> I was like, maybe if he sees I play great potion, then he'll realize that all this damage means nothing and I'll win the game. Anyways, Guardian has a great Malamar matchup. It has a pretty good Picaron matchup. Uh, Reshizard is a tough one because you have to be healing every other turn. So you have to be careful about the Reshizard. But like Reshizard is a good matchup if you do manage to heal a good amount of times. Reshizard makes me want to play around with my healing count because I'm only playing three great potions, but like Reshizard makes me want to play four. This opening hand is okay. <laughs> I just wish we were going first more. Like this is this deck is the king of going first. You have the huge benefit of essentially giving your opponent a one-sided judge with a reset stamp. Uh, it's not a full judge, but here we could. Uh, but here we can green get ourselves treasure plus duskstone and then stamp my opponent. And while we're drawing cards, and we get a turn one power plant too. So it's like it really sticks them in a bad situation. Like we have a really good hand if we were going first. We have a good hand regardless, but. It would've been better if we were going first. And we even have treasure off this. All right, so please tell me you're not playing post rotation and we will be good friends. We will be good friends. Mr. Good luck you need it. <laughs> Mr. Good luck you need it. Please tell me you're playing post rotation. So far so good. We're playing against Green Zard, so I can kind of showcase what I meant earlier about like Hoping you have, but luckily he started with the Volcanian too, and he's going first, which the benefit is he can't abuse that flare starter attack, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. One way or another, you're gonna be in a weird situation. But attacking this thing means nothing really, so I just kinda wanna spend the early turn setting up my board. We can bump the stadium immediately. Power plant is really only gonna be used for bumping, but uh, if we can get rid of a few of his stadiums, then um, Wonder Lab is gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be super strong. Forcing your opponent to have a few extra energies is gonna be really annoying. Now the problem with Green with, with Zard is that they can get the immediate guaranteed Oko. So I have to keep that in mind. With that GX attack, it's gonna be really annoying. But for the most part, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if he gets a manual attach from this turn. He kind of needs one. All right. Now he's attached to the active instead. He can't attack this turn, so it's pretty fine with me. I guess he's trying to get off the turn two attack of what's it called. I forget the name of it, but you know what I mean. All right, power plant first. Bump that stadium. Play you down. Uh, is there anything I really want to do this turn? Koga could be useful. I kind of want a Koga now, but at the same time I can't. I can treasure away this, grab Dusk Stone, and stamp my opponent down early game. I kind of like the idea of that. I really want to keep these around though. I don't think Koga's ever going to come into play this game, so I'm actually going to toss the Koga instead. And, uh, oh god, they're both prized. That is unfortunate. Huh. Okay, well they're both prized. So we can't do that this game. Now uh, there's no fairy charms that can help me out too much here. I don't want to reveal anything. So 
I'm not gonna do that. There's no point in stamping then, if that's the case. I'll save my stamps for like, mid-game shenanigans. What's my hand now? Hmm. We got green. It just seems like the safe play, right? But we do have double custom, but... This can give me like some healing cards, I guess. I just want him to GX me. I'm, I'm gonna heal until he GXs me, and then go from there. I need to GX him too. If I can do that sooner rather than later, that'd be good. Before he gets too many energies on his board. Flare starter. Okay, so he has a really bad early game, so that's good for us. We can take advantage of that. If that's all he can do, then that's going to be really nice for us. I can double custom tag switch and start putting pressure on this dude. That's going to be really slow for me, though. But I kind of like the idea of it. Because the pressure is going to be really, really nice. And he can't switch. If he's, if he's having a hard time right now, it's going to be really good for us. Let me actually do that. Energy spinner as well, for, so just make sure we have a manual attachment because we need one if we're gonna win this game. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of this because we don't have a green, but I kinda need to make sure we have a manual attachment. Otherwise we're in a really bad position because I'm going all in on my energies by doing this play. I wanna knock this thing out now. All right, and with Power plant sticking is really nice too, because that means he can't use cards like the Dene, which is probably why the reason why he's having such a hard start right now. Um, yeah, we'll just collide a storm here. Not gonna move my energies. I do want to take a knockout on the next turn. And he can't really retreat either unless he has switches in his hand. There's a Poke Gear. He can take a knockout on me, but like, or he can't take a knockout. Like he can't get six energies on this thing, but. He can attack me this turn, and that'd be something I have to deal with. We still have quite a few supporters, a few coach trainers as well. Oh, I have to showcase the deck after this as well. Uh, a few coach trainers and a few greens. I think two more greens left in the deck. So three coach trainers, two greens. It's not too bad. We can still find some cards off Gear, but we are in a very vulnerable position now. But because he can't Oko me, that we should. I'm feeling pretty comfortable making this play, and after he greens, I can just play stamp, right? So there's that. He's probably gonna. Oh, he's gonna find Flint, but he can't. I. I mean, he might play Flint right now to hope the top deck, and if that's the case, it's even better for my for my uh, for my dude. Yeah, there it is. All right, that's really good for me. I mean, quote unquote, good for me. It means he gets top deck more energies, and he gets rid of useless cards in his deck. But uh, actually, I guess it's true. Never mind. But it does mean that he won't have all these energies in his hand next turn unless he has the stadium. So he's just gonna great potion. Is this, it does put him out of range. I could just GX him now. Uh, Cause uh, now, now I can't, Never mind. He can outrage me for damage. Jeez, I wanna heal for sure. Because outrage into a GX attack is a knockout. So I need to be able to heal this turn. Uh, that is not what I wanna see. All right, let me start with this. Okay, here's where the risk, here's where the worry comes into play. Okay, at least that's something. I definitely want to stamp him, but let me see what else we can do too. No healing and we're just not drawing anything useful. Okay, so I need the stamp to stick. And if it doesn't stick, that's fine. I'm moving some energies back anyways. We have green in hand, so we can, we can play switch if we need to. I'm just gonna collide a storm again. Move these energies back. This is super, this is a super yikes though. Um, should I move all the energies back? I'm gonna move all the energies back just to play it really safe here. I mean, we have green in hand. We can play a physical switch if we need to. The only worry I have right now is double custom catcher into like a crazy knockout, which I don't think can happen. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just worried for no reason.
All right, let's see what he can do. I mean, we're just playing a game of like tic-tac-toe right now. Who can play around who? And it's a game where like, I'm a lot more afraid than he is <laughs> because he can heal, he can do more damage and he can do more damage and put himself outside of 2k range and uh, I am having a harder time getting myself outside of 2k range. So we'll see what we can do about this. There's another rescue are down, which is fine. Uh, he's attaching there, so that's good news for me. He can't just well, he can't of course just outrage me here, but like I can the, the whole thing is I can just stamp him down to three now. So we're gonna take our own prizes while stamping him down to three. I really hope my other stamp is a prize though. I'm just having panic attacks now. I really want to get my Miss Magius back. Ooh, Diantha is great actually. I can get double custom catcher back, but. More importantly, I can grab Stamp without having to use a green. Because here, this turn, I just want to grab Cherish Ball plus Stamp, right? That is an excellent top deck. Probably should have played this down, actually. Not you. Actually, maybe I do want this. Because, I mean, if, if my thing is prize, it's probably better to grab this Guardian. Uh, there's no other charms I can think of that would be useful, so I guess I'm just gonna slap that down. And hopefully we can get a couple of Miss Magiuses off this. We're going to stamp now. Yeah, this is this is probably this is probably better. And let me take my knockout. And I'm a little bit afraid of. I mean, he has three cards in hand, right? The chances of him being able to draw to this are fairly low. So I'm only gonna move one energy back for now. Because once again, we still have tax, which I know we have another one in the deck. All right, come on, Mischievouses. Actually, I don't even know if that's going to help me too much right now, to be honest. Coach Trainer's not bad. Okay, we got both Mischievous down. So we can try to stamp my opponent down to one. All right, let's see if we can take advantage of this. So this is a three retreat cost, right? There's a green, ugh. Okay, we have to find stamp again now, which means I'm definitely gonna be using Miss Mag this turn. So I'm gonna play both these down, fail one Dusk Stone, and then Miss Magius, we will only have ideally only two cards in hand. I would like to draw some energy so I can try to set up this GX attack as well. Let's see what he does. I'm sure he's going to grab Welder, right? Because he needs Welder if he's going to win. I mean, he needs to just GX attack me. So as long as we can deny a GX attack, we can win the game. Well, he's going to stamp me down down to three, which is problematic. <laughs> Dude, this game, I was, this game was a downward spiral since I never had uh, Miss Magius early. Like having both my, all both my Mysteries as prize is really, really bad for me. Like this was this game should have been a win, but both of my mischievous prizes sucked. But I mean, now we have a chance to draw them into dusk stones and stuff like that. We still have a few more greens, a few coach trainers. Like we can still win this game. We're not like so far gone yet, but we're definitely not in the best position in the world. And he chose to grab a non-energy card, which means he might not have an energy here. My opponent's just really taking a long time. Okay, he has the energy in hand, so he can attack me. But isn't I think he's just better off using flare starter, right? I think that's his better play. All right, we're gonna get three cards here. Let's see, not, ooh, great cards. At least that's a good card. He's definitely not playing abilities, so he's playing green. So this is just gonna be a better stadium to play down right now. Uh, Duskstone is good if we can draw a treasure or a mischievous. And he's gonna flare starter here. That's why I thought, yeah, that's why I thought attaching back there would've been better because at least if I did custom catcher it, he could've retreated uh, if he needed to. All right, I'm just gonna play this down here. Give him a harder time in attacking. I'm just gonna take my knockout, I guess. I mean, we can't stamp him. We know he has Welder in hand, right? Does, does that win him the game? I don't think it does. What's his retreat cost? It's two, right? So you can just retreat into Welder. So atta not attacking this thing doesn't do anything for me. I could also Fairy Song. Hmm. If I Fairy Song that sets this thing up and then he has to retreat and attack me anyways, 
uh, which might be fine. But, I mean, you can't GX me for game. So it might be a decent play to just fairy song thin the deck from energies. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. You have so many energies in the deck still. I'm just gonna do that. There's another Volcanian, and he bumps the stadium himself, which is annoying. So no welder? I thought, I guess he could just grab welder without having any energies in hand, which is okay, I guess. So he's gonna turn the top deck, so ideally I can. We have two more coach trainers, two more greens, two more gears, one more treasure, two mischievouses. How many outs is that? Let me think about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and nine. Nine outs, seven guaranteed outs, nine potential outs. That's about a third of the deck. It's a fourth of the deck if I have only the seven. Depends on what's prized, of course. But if I remember correctly, I don't think there was any like crucial pieces prizes as prized, especially since we got both of our mischievous our mischievous back. Mixed herb is pretty good. Stops him from being too KO'd. I mean I could just GX him though. So I'd have to like We'll see, I guess, we'll see. High heat blast for damage, and quite a bit of it. Oh my god, come on dude. He can just retreat and take a knockout now. This is awful. I can play out of this if I can get another healing card. But I think Fairy Songing is just my play. Because if this thing becomes active, I guess it's the same thing, right? Where I'm just on a timer. If I Fairy Song though, that puts energies. I mean, he just wins with Double Cousin Catcher now too. He hits me for 110 here or 230 there. At least if he hits me for 110, it's more manageable as far as healing goes. I'm gonna fairy song. I don't know if this is the right play, but like, regardless, I need to draw out of this situation. If I heal 90, that means there's only gonna be 20 damage on me, and 20 damage is nothing. But here comes the, oh, the GX stack is gonna happen, and now I'm just kind of in a bad position. All right, so. If he has the manual attachment, he wins. He can get a giant hearth or just through manual attachments. But if he doesn't have it though, I, it's it's coming down to me being able to heal off all this damage. This is not gonna be enough healing in this game. Man, that was really close. That was super close. But yeah, we're not gonna be able to heal off of that enough damage. So what we could have done there if we drew like anything, like a green would have been ideal, right? We could have grabbed another mixed herb and then yeah, just another mixed herb and then whatever else we needed at that moment maybe like another green to give me double custom catcher maybe take a knockout there and then he comes in he can't take a knockout on us we would have moved all our energies back i guess or maybe we could just stamp them probably like mixed herb into stamp but then i'm still stuck again so i guess stamp isn't part of the it's yeah i think it, yeah it's definitely definitely a tough game but <clears throat> whew. <laughs> this is why i've always been trying to play three like i've been doing my best to put three in here but it's just difficult man Anyways, this is the list I have so far. We're still working on it, obviously. It's still a work in progress, but it's gotten better and better by the moment. Uh, I've, I'm learning what is and isn't working so far. I learned that the surges don't work and the lucimines are kind of too cute and they're not really worth playing. So I took those out um, to put in more healing. The healing is super useful. Uh, it makes me want to play more great potions though, so I'm not in that situation where I need to be like, oh, I can't even use this mixed herb unless I have a second one. So, <clears throat> mixed herb, I've never been a huge fan of them, but if you're going to play them, you have to play four. It's just, otherwise it's a bad card. <laughs> if we get any other healing card in this deck, it's going to be really, really useful for sure. Um, as far as everything else goes, uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe you can find space for like a third mischievous. Honestly, you don't even need three dusk stones. All you really need is like a third mischievous so that you have the basic part and then maybe like a third miss magius if you're worried about that being priced i don't know you can always play three through the line but then you have to cut three cards right 
And as I've learned from my previous builds, once you cut the mixed herbs, your deck becomes a lot worse because you need that healing if you're gonna do well. Um, so it's kind of hard to make space for anything else. Uh, you can argue some of the charms, but uh, I, I played against enough Mewtwo box to know that like you need more than Power Plant to be Mewtwo box because they can Oko you with Dragonite's attack, and if they can Oko you, if they can Oko you, Mewtwo box wins. Any deck that can Oko you is a problem for sure. So <laughs> you definitely need both Power Plant and you need Fairy Charm because the only way for them to deal with both of those situations is with Lysander Labs, and those decks don't play Lysander Labs. You don't really need Mewtwo. You don't really need Lysander Labs in Mewtwo box. So it's pretty good. The only Q card I can see cutting is Koga. Koga is your way of being able to Oko the Denes though. So I play it. I play it for literally going double custom catcher, Koga onto the Dene, take a knockout. It's also a good card to like sometimes stop Mewtwo's tag purges that stop you from attacking it. I guess I can go over the rest of the deck, right? So we play three of these uh, with a two two line Mr. 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 Miss Magius. The other downside of increasing your count of Miss Magius is that you decrease your, your chances of leading Guardian Sylveon, Gardevoir Sylveon, and sometimes uh, if you can't find a Pokemon, you can get donked by just having a Mischievous in the active kind of thing. But for the most part, it's not really a huge deal. <clears throat> two Cherish Balls to find your Gardevoirs, four Catchers, two Stones, one Spinner so you can guarantee energies. Uh, we play three Great Potions currently, uh, four Mixed Herbs, four Treasures, uh, or not four treasures, two treasures, uh, four Poke Gears, two stamps. That's another card I want to have be a three of because I like using stamp pretty much all the time in this deck. This deck's this deck's appeal is that you are a fairy deck that can constantly be disrupting your opponent's hand. So you, that's why I want to play three stamps because it's just it's it's a pretty important part of the strategy. So that's another card I want to make space for is three stamps, uh, two switches, two tax switches, two power plants, one Wonder Lab, uh, three Coach Trainer, one Diantha. Diantha is essentially your fourth. Your, your fifth and sixth cust, uh, copy of custom catcher as well as any other like specific card you need at that moment but for the most part in almost every game i use it and i'm usually using it for extra custom catchers specifically versus non-gx decks like in Mali builds it's really really useful uh four greens uh one koga's trap i've already explained that one lightning charm one dragon charm dragon charm is for uh tina chomp tina chomp is a very very annoying Mali verge deck for you to build because you can't really do anything about it uh, as far as them being able to Oko you, but <laughs> with a single Dragon Charm, like you literally auto win the game. Like they can't do anything against you if you have the Dragon Charm up because all their other attackers can't Oko you. Uh, all they can do is 2KO you, but between all your healing and the fact that you're constantly taking knockouts on them, you'll be fine. Like you'll be completely fine. They, they, unless, the, unless like you draw the absolute worst of your entire life, you'll always be able to be Mali. Mali is like an auto win for this deck. It's crazy. Especially, as long as you can set up early, right? And then one Psychic Charm, we've already mentioned that earlier. Uh, one Ultra Beast Charm uh, just pretty much beats the Persephone matchup. Persephone cannot really deal with you if you have the Ultra Beast. Like they can attack you a few times with the Baby Nagas, but then you just continuously heal them with your put with your healing cards, and then they can't do anything about it. And then nine Fairy Energies. Um, <clears throat> I guess you could probably cut out one Fairy, play eight, and just because what I've been finding myself doing is I've been really good at preserving energy cards uh, throughout the game, unless they get a surprise knockout, which. Once you play enough of this deck, you know what decks can Oko you and how they can do it. So for the most part, you'll never be surprised knocked out. So as long as you're smart with your energy counts, uh, having eight is enough to where like you can keep six on a Guardian. And because of the nature of the deck, you're not even worried about using like your GX attack as often anymore because you have access to text to, to stamp, right? So my, my instant thought right here is cutting out to eight to add a third uh, mischievous so that situation doesn't happen again. But the, 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 likely, the likelihood of that happening to you is so low that I don't think it's worth putting in a third mischievous. As long as you can use one Miss Magius, you have that draw as well as a little bit of disruption with your recess stamp. So <clears throat> I don't think it's really worth doing, but there are other cards in this deck I would like to play more of over an eighth energy, like maybe something like another coach trainer could be really, really good. Another great potion could be good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below the deck list. Well, let me know what cards you, add replace but don't just tell me you know the card reasons this is actually a way for you to get your unified mind codes i'll especially give codes to people that answer this question but um unified mind codes thanks to our lovely sponsors at guardian gaming if you leave a like and answer the comment question today like what how would you how would you manipulate the deck and tell me why you would manipulate the deck uh to make the deck better run smoother or like have better matchups or whatever you think let me know in the comments down below don't forget to drop a like subscribe share all that good jazz and i'll see you guys next time with another TGO video or stream. Peace.